Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my go-to easy makeup look. So for primer, I usually use the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. It's very affordable. I just rub that on my hands. So after that step, I usually do foundation. I've been using the Huda Beauty foundation and it's in vanilla 1-2-B. I'll just do one or two pumps on my hand. And then I take one of my brushes, they're from Alamar Cosmetics. I like this foundation because as you can see I have very red skin and dry skin this is like a mask basically so when it's all blended out and used can't see a damn thing but I'm not fucking pimple but let's just like Okay, so after that, it's all set on my face. I take one of these brushes and I just pat it down. Make everything all the same. And then I go in with my concealer. I've been using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer very affordable and get a decent amount of product so that's always good just dot it there and then I take the same brush and I just again blend it So I like to do this kind of look on a day where my skin is either not having it or I don't want to look like a complete trash bag going out. Not that makeup makes you look better, but whatever, you know what I mean. So once that is all buffed in and blended, setting powder and go from there. Okay, so next I take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I just grab a powder brush. Just bake and set wherever I put my concealer. I have a problem with my nose and my under eyes not grabbing the concealer, so I like to set it very well before I go. To make sure everything's blended. But also like a very matte face, so depending on the day or the occasion I'll also put setting powder everywhere other than just under my nose and or on my nose and around my eyes. So once that is setting, we will go on to eyeshadow. And for my eyeshadow, I don't really do much, really. Especially if it's just one of the days that you're not really going anywhere, you just kind of want to do something to make yourself look a little bit more presentable. So I like to go over with a very warm caramel brown, just into the crease, 
So give us some definition there. Same with the other side. The good thing about this eye look and makeup look is it can honestly be done in like five minutes. If you really just brush it. And I'm a new mom. I have a six month old baby. So that very limits my time, I guess, because I have a baby to take care of. So this just helps me feel is pretty and takes no effort no time okay so now it's very light and neutral so, um, after that I like to take in with another beauty a beauty sorry a blending <laughs> brush, thank you. I just like to make a little neutral. Okay. And then I move on to my brows. Just gonna blend it out. Again, on a day like today where I'm not really trying to do a full glam look, I just like to brush them up. Take Pencil, this one is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Set it in. Not too dark, nothing crazy. Just to define it, make it a little bit more of a brown, you know? Okay, so after that's done, messed up. I take my little spoolie, brush them out again. So the lines aren't harsh. It just looks like a natural brow. And then after that, I like to do a little bit of gel. I use again cover cover girl easy breezy brow. Because let's be real, everything is so expensive. And it's basically the bottom line. A wing kind of make it more of a feathered natural brow. I don't like to conceal or anything like that underneath because again it's more of a natural looking setting, nothing too sharp or curved or carved out. So next I'm gonna take my e.l.f. contour palette. I like to just take, I knew where it was, I like to take an angled bronzing brush. I like to mix the two bottom shades, the darker -ish shades. I have a huge forehead, more like a seven head. So I like to contour that, make it more bronzy. So it's kind of like, oh, where'd it go? Hiding? It's still there. Love, hate, relationship with my forehead. So after that's done, I need to take this nice fluffy brush this one and just diffuse it okay and usually if I was gonna do a more glam high quality sparkly look then I would do some powder under the contour just to make it more sharp I think I'm gonna leave it today so next I'm going to do blush, and I'm going to take another angled little brush, just do a soft pink kind of look. Just 
When I first started doing my makeup, I hated doing blush because my face is so red on a daily basis. So, kind of maybe like, hmm, why would I do that when I'm trying to cover up the red and bring it back out? But I just feel like now it makes everything come together and look more kind of natural, if you want to call it. I mean, I know makeup's not natural. I mean, if you do makeup the way I usually like to do it, it's not natural. <clears throat> my nose contour, I like to take just this fluffy brush. It is the same colors. And I do just a little quick, easy contour. Nothing too crazy. And I like to take the excess brush that I was using for my blush and just put a little bit on the sides. The next thing I use is the e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam for highlight. I just take a little brush. Highlight the pimple that we're trying to cover. A little bit of glow. Put it on the nose, a little bit on the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush and I just diffuse it a bit. The next step I use is I do setting spray. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. And then usually I usually do a lash, but today I always do a little bit of mascara. And final step, just take a lip gloss usually. So today I'll use the Alamar Cosmetics and that is in shade Serentia. I don't know. Okay, I'll just do. And that was about it. So that's really all I do for a quick, easy makeup look. Thanks for watching.